Hello. I wasn't able to give you a heads up that I was going live, so let's just do it. And I thought I would play today with two of my favorite, well, one is my favorite, one I'm getting to know, but this Karen Dash, I actually had to look up how to, to make sure I was pronouncing that, I've been saying Karen Dash, it turns out that is right. Um, the crayons, the Neo Color crayons, they make all kinds of other things too, like pencils. Let's see, I have, I also love their pencils. It's a Swiss company. The Super Color, well, I might as well play with these too. Um, I've got the Super Color 2 that I use the most, the soft ones. So yeah, we can just make this kind of a Karen Dash video. And um, let me know you're here. Tell me where you're joining from and uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll do my best to, to answer them. So I've got then three things. These are the Karen Dash Neo Color. I usually just call them Neo Colors in my classes. Two. So see, it has a Neo Color 2 on it, like a Roman numeral 2. Can you see that? And then these are the Neo Color 1s. And they are wax and water resistant. And then these are water soluble. So let me adjust the camera just a little bit. Make sure we're getting all the goodies. There we go. And let's see here. What I thought I'd show you is just a little bit. The ones that I've used the most are the water soluble, the pencils and the, the um, crayons. The pencils are called Super Color 2 Soft. Can you see that? Let's see if I can get the angle just right. Of course, they have gold writing, which I love. And I have links to pretty much all these on my website on supplies. Um, let me get rid of this little banner to join my email list, but please do because you'll get an art download. And then um, I write blogs and have sales and that sort of thing. Okay. So let's play with, let me show you the Neo Color 2s first. And yeah, just chime in with any questions. I see some of you are here. Let me know where you're from. Okay, I'm in Florida. Let's use one of my favorite colors. So these are great for travel, these crayons, because they're basically watercolor in a crayon. You can do something like, so you can use them different ways. So if I were to to just do something like this, I could leave it like that and it could be something I paint over or something I, I'll show you both ways. Let's see, let's do one that I'm going to paint over. Let's do one that we're going to paint over with water. So this one we'll do with water, this one we'll paint over with paint. And then we'll put some paint here and paint over that. So let's try, let me make a really pretty pink. I've got my Nova colors. One of my favorite pinks to make with these is the quinacridone red with some white. So let me just grab some. Just, I kind of have a big chunk of white there. We had a storm here this morning, but just kind of rain, no big deal. And I'm still using, um, I don't know if I mentioned this last week in my studio chat, but my new brush set, the one that's going to have my name and colors and... <laughs> Just some fun, some bling. It's going to be brushed gold here. 
and then my turquoise kind of brand color here and and um, this is a sample though without all of that and they are really fantastic we're having them made and in a two sets and an abstract art set and then a floral set so I've been using them because I love them all right so I'm just gonna make a pink and I'll show you first let's get some paint up over here so that that can be drying because I want to show you how the Neo color works on top of paint let's see here all right that can just be drying over here and I'm going to show you if I paint the pink over this green, it's not going to be the best combination because they're complementary colors, so they might turn into mud. So let's pick a different color to paint over this. Let's make some yellow. Kind of a pinky yellow. All right, so what I like about these is, depending on what I'm doing, if I want to use them as um say if i want the color to blend in and create a different color then i'll use the neo color too so you'll see that because remember they're water soluble so i can take the paint right over this and it just gives me kind of a, a you know an effect basically so sometimes i'll do it that way and however much, if you want to blend it a lot, you can blend a lot. Sometimes I'll just take white over my Neo colors. So like, and you can just blend a lot. You can add more water, you can add less water, but you end up with sort of this bit underneath and you can control how much of that you want. So that's one way because it just dissolves them. And then I can take like, Let's see, I want this thing to have some branches maybe. I'm just messing around. I just want to show you what these, how these can work. Use them a lot, uh, probably in all my classes in one way, shape, or form. So now I'm just taking mostly white paint. Going back to the yellow. And it's just taking away the sort of crayon-like and almost makes it look like I painted watercolor underneath. There's so many ways to play with this stuff. All right, so that's one idea. And chime in if you have any other ideas you've picked up with, with these crayons. Now let me show you if you just take water on this one. I'll clean out my brush and get it wet. And then I'm just, this is where they're like a watercolor and a crayon. I've used them in hotels. I've taken just a few crayons in my sketchbook and done a whole spread with just these and you can blend them too so let's say I wanted to add uh, let's say I wanted to warm this green up a little bit whoops they're starting to break sadly that's okay I just have little pieces to work with and then I can do something like that and of course I could paint over this too And then if you're doing, now I'm putting the crayon on wet water, on wet paper, that's another, that creates another effect. It kind of, though, let me just show you. I just wet some paper here, and then, let me make it bigger, and then draw something. They'll bleed just a little bit. Yeah, they're starting to bleed a little bit. I probably should have wet the paper more to show, but it's not, they're not going to bleed like a, a 
like if you took some watercolor paint but they will bleed a little bit um, okay so that was with water and now this is dry I'll show you if we took put the neo colors on top of the paint first of all that I do that a lot just that I don't you don't need to add anything else but I'm just trying to show you a variety of things and you can do something like this you know maybe just go over the, the uh, leaves with water really it's endless truly truly here's some some of the neo colors still on my brush so that's the twos the neo color two the water soluble ones let's play with the wax ones and these can create some fun effects and I've just started playing with these but let's say um, you know, let's just say we're gonna do you know like a flower here and I'm just gonna put some lines in here create some texture let's take um, the colors are eh, not my favorite because they're all just so pure but you can mix so let's just take let's do a sort of a stem with this and maybe mix some of this like a yellow ochre basically and the, I, the other thing about the, the wax ones is even though I kept them in the case, all the little tips broke off because they're just, they're much harder and stiffer than the watercolor ones. All right, so let's just see what happens there. Now, if I want to paint, we're going to see how they resist. I'll grab some, what color do I want over this? Let's do yellow. Gonna have to add something that yellow is just too out of the tube. Add a bit of this. Don't do what I do and mess up your paints. <laughs> Take some out <laughs> on the palette knife with a palette knife onto your palette. Oh my gosh. And now they're making a liar out of me. Maybe I need more water. We've done this before where the I'm so funny. Oh, you know what I think I did? Yeah, I just realized well, this is good. I'm glad that I you know I'm showing you this because I think what I realized is that if you do the acrylic over the wax resist, it just covers it up. But we need the we need a watercolor. Let me get me. That's what I did. I did it in my last class. It was really crazy. Let's see. Let me grab. Let's grab a really pretty watercolor. Maybe this. No, orange won't show up. Let's do this pink. Yeah, because the acrylic just. Is too much coverage. All right, now let's see if it works this time. That's what I was going for. I've forgotten that I used acrylic to get that effect. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, I used watercolor, not acrylic. I'll hold it up so you can see more closely. So, nothing I can do about that. Well, we learned something. I mean, you can kind of see it under right there. It is kind of coming out now. It's just more muted. You see the difference. Okay, so 
here, let's grab a watercolor green. And you can use gouache too, but it would have to be regular gouache, not the gouache with the acrylic in it. So not aqua gouache, because that would do the same thing. Unless you really watered it down. We could try that. Let's try that after I get done with this. Come on. The thing about these watercolors is they dry up, but it's okay because you can reconstitute them. This is a fabulous green, green gold. Come on, you. You know what I'll do? I'll just grab some of you like this. So with the Rax Resist ones, there it's you're not gonna, it's not gonna go away, and you, it's not gonna blend, right? Because they're not water soluble. So you're gonna have that effect underneath. You can play with different colors and so forth. Now let's see what happens if we use, let's try regular gouache with these and then acrylic gouache. So I'm just gonna make like a sort of a ranunculus. And let's do another one here. A scribbly flower. And we'll do aqua gouache here. Let's see what color would be good. Let's just try this. If we try really thin, it might work. Aw, thanks, Sue. I'm glad you're learning a lot. I learn every time I get paint and color out. Okay, so here's the acro gouache. Well, you're seeing it there, but you're not getting that. That might be because the color was so bright. Let's try, hmm, ooh, let's try white. Can't see what I've done, but. <laughs> Let's see what that does. It should be like when we were kids and we used crayons as wax resist. Yeah, the acro gouache, I think, covers up a lot, but that's still a cool effect. Let's try regular gouache. Let's see. Should we try the super bright pink? It's the kind of pink that makes your eyes hurt. All right, so it's doing the same thing. It's not disturbing it, but it's not giving me that kind of cool look there. Where'd my white one go? Let's try the white with the regular gouache. Oh, there I'm getting it. Okay, so now we know it's resisting a little more. Hmm, it went away. Probably too much paint. It's showing up a little, but not very much. Interesting. So, what if we do, let's try this bright green. That's the wax. Make sure I've washed all the acrylic out of here. This is regular gouache, meaning it has no acrylic in it. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so the acrylic just does not give you that resist. So that means that for this effect, as far as this experiment goes, we would need to use regular gouache or watercolor. Oh, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? With the Look at the the green crayon coming through. Really pretty. Now I'm using Ecamm Live software to stream this, so if you're um, able to 
give it permission to use your name, then I'll be able to see your name. Like I can see that Sue commented, but the others just say Facebook user. So I don't know if it's giving you, I'm still learning this software, I don't know if it's giving you a, a um, like prompt that allows you to, to share your name. Or maybe Sue has taken, you know, already done that in another time with Ecamm. I'm just playing with the, the wax crayon on top now. So that is the most dramatic effect. So regular gouache. Let's try some more colors. This is fun, right? Uh, let's try, let's see. Did we try this with a green? No, okay. Let's try this one with the green, this green gold watercolor. So the way to think about um, these paints is that the watercolors are really gouache and watercolor, meaning they, they, there's nothing acrylic in either one of those. And then the acrylic paints are acrylic and agro gouache. I know it gets confusing. It confused me for about a year. <laughs> All right, so this is really pretty. Let me see if my glasses. I guess I am getting some resist. I, I wondered if it was just covering it, but it is resisting in some places. Yeah. So that's just, um, yeah, I, I know it says not try to give permission. I've got to figure that out because I think there's something that uh, it says, <laughs> the software says that I, I can't, what does it say? Um, I can't receive the names of Facebook group comments because I'm not a group administrator, which is pretty funny because it's my group. So obviously something's got to change there. I'll figure it out. Um, but Sue, your name is showing up, so I'm curious as to why. All right, so here's some more wax. Let's try, because these are the ones I played with the least. Okay, I know I don't usually use blue and orange and one flower, but we're just messing around. So let's see what happens with these two colors. Yeah, so I think you just have to stick with with the um, water-based paints to get that wax resist. That's the conclusion here. Who doesn't love, and if you don't own some version of, of, of an opera pink, it's a must-have. <laughs> I say that out of my glasses, but pretty much every... Um, company makes one in in the Nova color acrylics it's basically a fluorescent pink but it's great okay while well, we have it out and then I'll probably close this up I I think I said I give permission Sue said okay hey Judy see I see Judy's name too yeah the pinks and the turquoise right it turned out okay now it is resisting I want you to see that so you're getting the pops of See the bits of crayon coming through? They're fun, right? Um, what was I gonna show you? Oh, I wanna show you how just a little bit of this brightens up like, let's say I have, okay, cadmium, no, let's do the cadmium red. Cadmium red's a nice red, that's a little boring, right? So let's take some of that. Now I'm going past the um, crayon thing because I got so excited about <laughs> And by the way, I'm going to mix regular gouache with, with acrylic. No, nothing bad happens. Nothing will explode, I promise. But look how it just, okay, livens up that red. Not, okay, I need to show you just the red without it. So that's with a little bit of opera in it or fluorescent. If you're using the Novas, um, the Nova paints are paints that are available only online, and I have a bundle with them on their website, an artist bundle. Um, you can go to my website and go under supplies and there it is. But 
They're just really nice acrylic paints for the price. All right, let me show you what the cadmium is. It's just so much more dull, right? Look at that compared to that. Can you see? And then if we add more, and then maybe a bit of white, we get, ah. Uh, see, and you can go, you can tone it down. Look, you want a little more red. So pretty. Because you do have to be careful with the opera in, in a painting. A little goes a long way. You know, you don't want pa your paintings to hurt people's eyes. Um, was this regular gouache? This was. So I've been mixing it all. You'll probably have to watch the replay. But this is regular. Turner Design Gouache is what they call their regular versus Turner Acro Gouache with the acrylic in it. And then I did get some watercolors out. So let's see. I have a few more minutes. Oh, you think you commented on one of my other videos? Okay, I'm going to have to figure out. We'll figure it out. What else can I show you? What, what We didn't try. I haven't even tried the red. Let's see, the purple. What if we did, that's really dark, isn't it? Uh, let's see, what if we, I wonder if we did a really pale, hmm, well I could take the green gold again and add a little bit of, no, let's get a different color, this, oh, I know, okay, this is a, this is a really pretty watercolor. It's got a long name though. Kingsman, Kingman Green, Turquoise Genuine. Let's see if that resists with the dark color. I don't see it. Very interesting. I don't see it resisting really. It's just kind of painting over. It's still a cool effect though. All right, well, we played with a lot of things. First, we took the Neo Color One Crayons, I mean, twos. <laughs> I'm confusing you even more. We took the two, the ones that are water soluble, and we played this way. And then we took the waxy ones, the ones I'm not as experienced with, and we did some experiments. I think my two favorites are this, which was um, the orange Neo Color one, the waxy one underneath, and then watercolor on these petals. The acrylic covered it too much. And then this one was the opera pink regular gouache over the green wax crayon. And then we went off on a tangent and mixed opera pink with reds. And then this experiment was pretty too. I took orange wax crayon, which again is the Neo Color Ones. And then I did the, it's kind of a turquoise, it's just a blue. What do they call it? Blue turquoise, but it doesn't look like a turquoise to me. And we covered that. And then, oh, we haven't done the pencils. Okay, let's do the pencils. Because they're also Caran d'Ache. And they're very similar in the sense that, I'll, look, let me show you, I can use them on top of a, on top of something like this. So I could, you know, say I want some color on that or here. And I could just, that's it, you know, like a colored pencil. Or I can do, um, you guys getting tired of leaves yet? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. And I could wet them, see what happens. So they'll start bleeding because they're water soluble. 
And depending on how much I want them disturbed, you know, I can just leave it at that or I could disturb a lot and make the lines complete. If you disturb enough, you can get the lines to completely go away. So they're also great for travel. You can get kind of an effect where you use water just on the inside of your line so it looks like it's bleeding in, but you have an outline. It's endless. Or I'll just use them sometimes uh, on, on top of a painting like, let's see, where's something I'm sort of working? Okay, we can play with this one. This is like a who knows where kind of project. I might do something like that. Um, I could take play like this. Anyway, look at this. Look at all this fun. <laughs> You're visiting in Portugal and brought some stuff to play with. Oh, yay. Oh, hey, Kim. Your first time catching live. Yeah, that's probably because I didn't plan it, right? <laughs> it was spontaneous. Um, well, that's fun. All right. So I'm kind of the end of my live, though. Well, well I'm going to try. I don't even want to say it. I was about to say I'm going to try to do these Fridays around noon, but I don't want you <laughs> counting on that because I just I never know if I can do that. But I've done it two weeks in a row, kind of around noonish, Eastern. Um, and, uh, hope it was fun and feel free to ask questions, um, in the comments and happy creating this weekend. All right, guys. Bye.